Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is how you read an MRI of the pituitary gland. In this patient, we're looking at them from the side, and we can see this cup. This is called the cella, or the pituitary fossa here. And within that, we see a gray piece of tissue here towards the front. The eyes are over here towards the front. The back is this direction, so this is towards the front. We see gray tissue within the cup. This is called the adenohypophysis, or the main part of the pituitary here. And in the back, you see a little bright area. This is called the posterior pituitary bright spot, or the neurohypophysis. And this together makes it the pituitary gland. We see a linear band also coming out of the brain, coming down into that. This is the pituitary stalk, or the infundibulum. And we've got to make sure that the pituitary gland is normal in size, like this. It doesn't bulge out of the pituitary gland or pituitary fossa, rather. It doesn't touch this linear thing here, which is the optic chiasm. It's contained right in the cup, and this is a completely normal size. And we make sure this pituitary bright spot is there. It's not off in some other place or um, displaced. And we make sure that this pituitary tissue, the adenohypophysis in the front, is very uniform and symmetric from right to left, and there's no area that's dark or bright within it. Now, this is if you were looking straight ahead of the pituitary gland. We can see this gray tissue is the pituitary gland. This is the left side. Right side, see how balanced it is. The right side and left side are symmetrical. If we go to this view, you see the pituitary stalk coming down into it, nice and midline. When there's a pituitary mass, one side will often be larger than the other, or it'll bulge up into the supracellular cistern, this area above it, or the pituitary stalk will be deviated to the right or left. So this is what we look for, and this is how you read an MRI of the pituitary gland.